Horizon Manila is an upcoming mixed-use planned community to be built on a 419-hectare reclaimed land in Manila Bay. It has been described as the biggest reclamation project in Manila, Philippines. Horizon Manila will be composed of three islands, Island 1, 140 hectares, Island 2, 140 hectares, and Island 3, 139 hectares. The project was approved by the Philippine Reclamation Authority in 2019 and construction will begin in the second half of 2023. The project was proposed by the Manila City Government with a projected cost of 60 billion Philippine pesos, through a joint venture with Jabros Construction Corporation. A Memorandum of Understanding was signed between the City and the Philippine Reclamation Authority on June 2, 2017. The master plan for the project was designed by WTA Architecture Plus Design Studio, a local Filipino architecture and design firm. The master plan calls for the creation of 28 distinct communities for 100,000 residents, which will be situated on three islands bisected by a four kilometers long canal park. 83 hectares will be allotted for open green space, which will occupy a fifth of the project's total area. Each district is planned to have its own development guidelines. The project consortium allotted 109 billion Philippine pesos for the reclamation and construction of roads. 34 hectares will be allotted for the use and disposition of the city. Around 400,000 jobs are expected to be generated for the project. The project received the approval of the Philippine Reclamation Authority in December 2019. By the first week of October 2020, Jabros Construction Corporation confirmed that all the necessary permits have been secured, including the Environmental Compliance Certificate. In March 2021, the project gained the approval of the Philippine Competition Commission, the second reclamation project to be approved by PCC after the planned Manila Waterfront City. Construction will begin at the second half of 2023, and it will take six to eight years to complete. Island 1 featuring the eSports Arena, a driving range, basketball courts and more, the first island offers various and diverse venues for active recreation. Island 2 discover spectacles of entertainment and inspiration at the Bridgeway Theater, Manila Vertical Zoo, the Fashion Walk and more. Island 3 revel in the bay life at the Horizon Yacht Club and water sports area, enjoy the best view of Horizon Manila and the sunset, or dive into a good book in the peace and quiet of the public library. Districts The estate connects 28 districts spread throughout the three main islands, with each one built for a unique purpose, but with the same goal of uplifting the Filipino. The development seeks to rediscover and embrace the city's role as the heart and soul of the country. With the vision to build 28 distinct communities, Horizon Manila aims to integrate the needs of our social and cultural heritages while adapting a sustainable lifestyle that emphasizes self-sufficiency, climatic adaptations, and cultural resiliency. This master plan is composed of three islands bisected by a four kilometers long canal park that recalls the identity of the Tagalog people who settled along the mouth of the Pasig River. Manila is composed of 16 distinct districts and 897 barangays neighborhoods which reflect the hyperlocal settlement patterns of its people. The history and culture of the city is defined by the character and variety of these settlements, which together have created a vibrant mixture of people and places. The proposed development focuses on people and local activities as the main determinant for diverse and organic growth. Shared experiences that tie the communities together are developed through activated public spaces with programs that strengthen the vitality of the streetscape. Placemaking features that stimulate local experiences define these spaces. They range from the ubiquitous streetball culture of Manila to lush tropical gardens, from water gardens to civic and religious plazas. Each place is a kernel of ground activity that evokes the culture and lifestyle of Manileños. Horizon Manila will double the amount of available open space in Manila. Manileños will enjoy over 800 linear meters of green edges along with 83 hectares of open green space covering about a fifth of its total area. It will also have over 18 hectares of urban waters which will act together with a pair of desalination plants and water collection and treatment facilities to provide over 2 million cubic meters of freshwater, enough to cover the water supply of its residents for 150 days. Horizon Manila will reinforce the personal mobility of its residents by providing 5 to 8 meter wide arcaded sidewalks throughout the three islands. Urban clusters also provide shaded oases that create human scale interest points with 5 minute walking distance. Dedicated pedestrian lanes with exclusive cycling, and pedestrian bridges ensure continuous travel throughout the city. 
Furthermore, an integrated transportation system with trackless electric trams, water taxis and ferries. Stops and stations are mapped out to only be 400 meters away from adjacent stops. This ensures that everywhere in the city will be reachable in 10 to 20 minutes. A network of public spaces in each community along with various waterfronts serves not only to encourage a vibrant streetscape but also to connect people by hosting a diverse range of activities. From the traditional Manila street ball culture to botanical gardens and from water gardens to sunset boardwalks, these attractions provide distinct and easily accessible activities for each of the 28 communities. The various communities will each develop their own unique topologies with building envelopes that form an urban valley. Together with defined edges and boundaries, this urban geography will facilitate the growth of distinct communities that will each have its own character and language. The master plan focuses on people and local lifestyles as the main determinant for diverse and organic growth. Each of the 28 communities will have its own development guidelines and will promote mixed-use development in each locality. Barrier-free developments with complete accessibility for all will be encouraged and urban infrastructure promoting social connectivity will be the defining framework for the city. The Central Canal Park becomes the main highlight of the Manileño concept. It creates a unique and enriching feature for the wellness of all its residents. The Canal Park not only connects the three islands but also provides Horizon with a public park at its core. It stretches all the way to the water's edge, ensuring that the Manila Bay sunset will always belong to the public. All the roads will be tree-lined and will feature 8 meters wide sidewalks with 3 meters arcades that guarantees a comfortable walk in the shade or away from the rain anywhere in Horizon. The development emphasizes personal mobility with pedestrian and bike lanes. In addition, it looks to encourage a car-free lifestyle for most of its residents. The goal is to grow 28 unique communities or barangays along the water's edge. Each of the 28 communities will have its own development guidelines and will promote mixed-use development in each locality. Barrier-free developments with complete accessibility for all will be obligatory and urban infrastructure promoting social connectivity will be the defining framework for the city. Horizon Manila is an alternative planning model for the megacities of tomorrow. Hyperlocal, intimate, accessible and socially connected. These are the features that will allow us to function in the increasingly massive and dense urban regions of our world. The three islands of Horizon Manila are arranged east to west with the long faces along the north-south axis. The individual parcels are also arranged accordingly allowing each building to minimize heat gain. The vertical massing of the master plan creates clustered towers that keep certain areas shaded all day. Ensuring that you are never too far from a cooler part of the development. This tropically appropriate and locally suited planning combined with other features ensures that Horizon will have a much lower microclimate compared to the existing city. Horizon Manila is envisioned to once again bring back development and growth energy back to the city of Manila. It will re-establish Manila as the heart of our nation and provide a model and impetus for the rehabilitation of the old city center. The first phase of development of Horizon Manila is Horizon East. It is a 12-hectare superblock located in the center part of the first island. Within Horizon East is a church, a village, an e-sports arena, offices, dormitory, and an international school. Horizon East embraces a conscious commitment to providing lush green spaces. It fosters the growth and well-being of a holistic and thriving community. The village in Horizon East is surrounded by amenities that define its perimeter. It features 100 villa lots around a transversal community center. A green lane bisects the entire neighborhood to encourage movement and interaction for both adults and kids. It includes a clubhouse, a pool, basketball courts, playgrounds and gardens. To the north of the village, the Church of the Crossroads weave various paths that come together to form the church. Representing the convergence of all devotees, the church becomes the epicenter, the communal hearth. This journey is an experience of openness and solemnity. It allows us to take a breath and reconnect us with nature and ourselves. Building more foundations for the community, Horizon East features a comprehensive K-12 program with the best learning facilities in Manila. The school focuses on learning through exploration and collaboration called the Learning Loop. It is a collection of pockets of ideas that serve as a meeting point. These take form in social parks that stimulate learning through sensory experiences and social interaction. As children hone their skills in school, their formed experiences contribute to creating a sustainable collaborative community, a ripple effect that spreads out towards the city in our country. 
the skate park and eSports arena is a multi-level outdoor activity center. This includes retail outlets, skating pits, and a central rock climbing pillar. Inspired by rock formation, the eSports arena integrates technology with the surrounding landscape creating a dynamic and unique structure. It features areas that suit active lifestyles within the city setting. This provides city dwellers with an accessible venue for health and recreation. The skate park features plenty of areas for children and adults to engage in various activities. Through this designated space, the development hopes to encourage fitness, team sports, and constant appreciation for the outdoors and what it has to offer. The residential block at Horizon East is a canal-side urban residence. It provides a bustling ground-level commercial walkway for residents, commuters, and visitors from neighboring districts. It also highlights the shared outdoor spaces within the block, encouraging its users to embrace the surrounding outdoor landscape. The dormitory is located beside the river and the school facilities. The dorm features a hierarchy of spaces supporting the diverse activities of its students. Beginning with the area by the river, students may engage in water and ground sports as well as enjoy the park spaces alongside. On the level closer to the building, cafes and open spaces for multi-purpose activities are available for their use. Within the dormitory building is an open space on the sixth floor. This space provides students with a large venue to interact, to collaborate, as well as to use for meditation and serenity. Nature is brought in through landscaping and vertical gardens. A monorail system is planned to connect the islands from mainland Manila. Other planned modes of transportation include trackless electric trams, ferries and water taxis. Stops and stations are evenly mapped out to become about only 400 meters away from each other, ensuring that each and every place of the city is reachable within 15 to 20 minutes. Horizon Manila is the first Filipino project to ever win in the World Architecture Festival. It was named the overall winner of the 2021 WAFX Award at the 2021 World Architecture Festival after first winning the WAFX Water category. The WAFX Award is given to future projects that identify key challenges, which architects will need to address in the coming years. Horizon Manila is envisioned as a self-contained mixed-use community with commercial, institutional, residential areas, and areas suitable for port and port-related facilities, marina and tourism-related facilities, and other applicable uses. There are at least 19 reclamation projects in various stages of permitting, development, and implementation, according to the Philippine Reclamation Authority. These include the City of Pearl Reclamation Project, the Manila Waterfront City Reclamation Project, the Tiang Families Solar City. Meanwhile, the C Families SM Prime Holdings Incorporated is the private sector partner of the local government of Pasay for the SM Project, which covers 360 hectares.